Then see if you got it, King. Chickabiddle. Ching. Chickabiddle. Ching. I can keep up for kick it for Adam Papa. Ching. Adam Papa. Ching. I can keep up for kick it for Sima Sima Se. Sima Sima Se. A witty witty mitty. A witty witty mitty. Viva, viva, hey. Hey, you almost got it, eh? I got that. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, you can. Uh, you I'll know. show you again if nah. I have to. Okay, we go faster. Okay. Yeah, I like faster. Chicken middle. Chee. Chicken middle. Chee. I kick it for a kick 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 for I learn all the rugby moves and I come and teach you and you go to Polynesian club, you learn all the dances and you come and teach me the action. Oh no, nah. I don't like that deal. <laughs> what deal you want? Oh how about I go learn the, the poly moves? Yeah. I come and teach it to you? Yeah. Yeah, and then you give me your lunch. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good deal. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Well, did you go and get the material for our Lava Lava? Oh, yeah, I went to the shop yesterday and I got about five meters. Oh, thank you. What for? It's only enough just to go around me. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I go get my own Lava Lava. But I'm going to get the baby oil so we can put it on our body, okay? Oh, no. Nah. I, I, I don't use that anymore. How come? Because uh, I'm not a baby. So what are you going to use? Oh, I use a granola. <laughs> Why granola? Oh, because it's low fat. <laughs> oh, well, you're not going to get my lunch because the festival's the day after tomorrow and you only just taught me chicken meal. See? So you have to teach me a whole lot of other dances and you're not going to be able to teach me. <laughs> now I can teach you. I can teach you. No. There's four more dances to teach and the festival's the day after tomorrow. Don't worry, man. I got a formula. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it makes it real easy, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the Tokelam dance. How are you going to teach me the Tokelam dance? There's a easy, man. <laughs> What's your formula, man? Well, because I don't know all the ways to the song, but I know all the action, and I get the action to tell me a story. And if I remember the story, then I remember the action. <laughs> okay, tell me your story for the Tokelang dance, then. Okay, uh, okay. The story is you have to pretend, imagine you are all black, and you are getting ready for a big game. And then you have to warm up, okay? So you warm up your lower body first, okay? And then, then the other side, yeah. And then you warm up your upper body, yeah. And the other side, yeah. You see, and then you add the words. Awe kapaku, awe kapaku, enga wolima, enga wolima. And then you do it faster. Awe kapaku, awe kapaku, enga wolima, enga wolima. That's really cool. Totally, okay. man. Yeah, okay. So that's the Tokelang dance. Yeah. What about, what about the Tongan dance? Oh, that's a ugly man. <laughs> okay, tell me the story for the Tongan one, man. Okay, so uh, you have to imagine that uh, there's a really pretty Tongan girl, you know, a foy lolly outside the house. <laughs> and, and so you can see me, I'm going for a jog. Huh? You go for a jog? It's just a story, man. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keep telling the story. She said, me, I'm going for a job. But she wants to invite me into her house. So she used her hands to ask me to come into the house. Show me. She go like this. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come here, you sexy bass. Yeah. Yeah, that's Dude. a good story. Yeah. But then she said, I'm like really sad, really sad. And she showed me, I take my top off and I got like a really big muscles. <laughs> what? It's just a story, oh. man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Then she asked me to come inside by using her hands and her head. Show me. She got like this. 
Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on, you sexy guy. Yeah. Woo. Oh, but, but that's the girl's action. What about the men's action? Oh, that's when um, you have to imagine that the whole family asked the dad to come and ask me to come into the house. But he's old and he's standing at the door with his walking stick. And he invited me just by using his head. Show me. He go like this. Come on, mate. Come on, Lily. Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about the rest of the men's actions? Oh, that's when, um, that's when um, the whole village want me to come into the house. And then they asked the old man to invite me, but he come and have a look on the road. It's too busy. I can't cross the road. There's a heaps of traffic, like a heaps of horses going past. <laughs> So he really wants to be careful, so he uses actions to direct the traffic. Show me? Yeah! He goes like this. Hey, you guys stop, you come over here, okay? You, you guys stop, you come over here. Yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you, man, tell you. That's easy. It's so, easy. Yeah, so I know the Tukalau, the common one. Oh, but the Samoan. There's three Samoan dances. How am I going to remember what order the Samoan dances are in? Don't worry, man. <laughs> These are ugly. <laughs> okay, how are you going to remember? Uh, because Samoa cover like all the three different fitness levels. Like the first uh, one is like for the people who never exercised before. <laughs> that one's called the Sasa. That's where they do it sitting down. And they only use their upper body, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the only time they talk is when they say, Taloma! <laughs> they don't talk after that because they have to catch their breath again. Oh. Yeah. And then you have like the medium level uh, fitness. There's like the Ma'ulu Ulu in that, you know, where they dance standing up. But my one for my level is like for the elite athlete. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we do like the Fakau Paki and the Siva Afi, you know, the slap dance and the fire dance. Oh, yeah, can you show me? Uh, not today. <laughs> okay, hey, we'll see how easy it is for me to learn. If you tell me the story of the Cook Island one, oh. then I can follow you, okay? Yeah, this is an ugly okay. man. See how easy for me to learn. You tell me the story and I'll do it, okay? Okay, I'll uh, just pretend that um, you are waiting at the bus stop for the, the, for the bus. <laughs> then all of a sudden you want to go to the toilet. <laughs> and you're like, oh. And, and then you try and hold it in, and you're like, <laughs> But then you think you can hear the bus, and you're like, is that the bus? <laughs> is that the bus? <laughs> and then you realize you can't see the bus because you're too low, too low. So you climb up the coconut tree, and then you have a look over the top. Then you realize you're too high, too high. And then before you know it, you're too late, too late. Oh, hey, uh, the Maori teacher always turns me off when we finish with the haka, because I always smile when I do the haka, man. Man, don't smile in the haka. I know, but I'm Samoan. I smile when I dance. What's your story to make me staunch for the haka, oh, man? Oh, this is an ugly man. Okay, tell me the story to make me staunch, man. Okay, the story is about three brothers, and they are going down their canoe, down the Pacific, um, <laughs> the Pacific water. <laughs> and then the brother at the back say, hey, stop it, stop it. So they stop it. And he got off in the kingdom of Dover, and the other two were like, ah, oh, stink. <laughs> we're gonna go to a better place. So the other two was going in their canoe, 
And then the other brother said, hey, stop, stop, stop. And then they put up the hand, right? <laughs> and he got off in Samoa. And the other brother said, oh, stink. <laughs> I'm going to go to a better place. So he did. And he was going in his canoe. It's going real fast. And then he ended up in uh, Invercargo in New Zealand. <laughs> but it was like really freezing and cold. <laughs> Really freezing and cold. <laughs> and he was like really angry because his other two brothers got off in a nice warm place. And he ended up with like real freezing and cold. <laughs> so you have to imagine and pretend that you're him, you're angry and you're like real freezing and cold. So show me how to be angry, freezing and cold. Okay, you have to pretend you're him getting out of the canoe and it'd be like this. Then he reached down and he grabbed uh, the fruit. He thought it was an orange, but it's a grapefruit. And he took a big bite. Um, then he went like this. Mm, bleh, 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 bleh. 